So it's a lesson to all the political parties to learn to work together, accept superior, superior issues, keep aside sentiments and emotions so that we can change the kind of terrible situation Nigerians are going through. Our educational system has collapsed, the health sector has collapsed, practically everything is on its knees. The transport sector has collapsed. When I was going to Bauchi, I was scared. I was even thinking of returning back to Abuja. The roads were empty. People are, are feeling, you know, worried. The same thing when I was coming back yesterday. The, 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 the Abuja, just Bauchi, and uh, not his road, is a very busy road. You can see scanty of cars on the roads. In all the towns, it turned out like a ghost town. People were inside. They refused to come out. They are scared. They don't know what is going to happen. So we are responsible for this, and it has most take responsibility. We must protect this country. And I hope that INEC have learned their lessons terribly battered, that in the next community election, they will ensure that the system function. There should be no excuses anymore. We have raised this issue several times. That once the Biba system credibility is being questioned, that our democracy is in danger. You can imagine that a country that has registered voters of over 90 million, less than 10 million votes, 8 million votes produce a president of Nigeria. How do you define legitimacy in such a system? Nine, over 90 million registered voters. 8 million. Over 8 million declared votes won the presidency. The voters are party were unprecedented. After the unprecedented. This is what we are scared of. So when the Viva system came on board, we campaigned vigorously to support the Viva machines that votes are going to count. But based on what we have seen, it means that we need to do more, I need to do more, I need to adjust. They need to do internal checkings and make sure they punish those who compromise the process as a deterrent. They must be fished out and they must be punished. There are video clips going on. Security agencies must investigate and punish those culpable for letting us where we are today, despite billions of narratives, public holiday declared, 